boo. Hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess. So we're going to find out, baby, exactly what it is that you need to know right here, right now. So, oh, the car flew out, baby. Look, and it flew out so productively. It flew out so, you know what I'm saying? I'm like... <laughs> We got here the power card, okay? So it seems like you may be showing your power. Let's find out. Spirit, give us insight here. Give us insight. We got here the mend a relationship card, okay? Tell us more. Tell us more. We got here the big deal card, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We got here K sera, sera. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got here, pop the cork. We're going to pull one more of these. And we got success, fame, status, baby. So look. <laughs> so Spirit is saying here that it's a big deal here that you're not trying to fix something or fix some sort of relationship, fix some sort of connection, fix something. Like you're just not holding that burden on your back you're not carrying that heavy bag or that heavy burden okay so they're saying that you're really stepping into your power here so there could be some sort of relationship some sort of connection here that you have that has been troubled with somebody it has not been going well okay but you're stepping into your power and you're in this energy here where it's like you know what I'm not going to be the one to sit here and keep putting all this time, energy, effort into trying to fix this and mend this. And so Spirit is saying that this is a big deal here because usually you would try to fix, you would try to mend, you would try to make things better, but you're not doing that, okay? Instead, you're in the case that I said, ah, baby, whatever shall be, shall be. Whatever happens, happens, but I'm stepping into my power right now and I'm not going to be the one here to always fix men you know, extend the olive branch, compromise, be flexible. It's just like you're over it. You're over it. Okay. And so spirit is saying here that this is very much a time for you to celebrate because we got pop the court and the success card. Okay. It's a time for you to celebrate and feel like a star up because of this. Okay. Because you're not, you know, allowing someone here to put you in a position to put everything on your back. To make everything your problem, your fault. You you the one who got to fix constantly, consistently. No. Okay? So, Spirit is saying that you're actually about to be feeling like you're winning. You're about to be celebrating because this power feels really good. Okay? You're feeling very vindicated. You're feeling very powerful. You're feeling very confident. You're feeling very sure of yourself. You're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm doing really, really good. I did not have to try to fix this because there's nothing for me to fix at the end of the day. I've always been the one to try to fix. And I really feel like you're over it. Okay. Let's get into this deck. Spirit, give us more insight here about the collective no longer being the one to try to fix men mold let's see here what's the deal what's going on we got here yeah see it was a five of wands this is somebody that always brings conflict and issues okay but this is someone you always have conflict with it's like the conflict never ends with this person or, or the power struggles the issues the arguments the drama whatever it is you know it's like a never-ending cycle yeah, see, it's somebody that you're supposed to be cool with, the two of cups. Y'all supposed to be getting along. It's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be nothing but love. But there's a four sword. So Spirit is saying here that there's this energy of resting here. We got here the Knight of Swords. We got here the Magician. And we got here the seven of wands. Okay. So spirit is saying here that while you're on this rest period, not really caring and feeling like whatever shall be, shall be that this person is thinking about rushing towards you or creating some magic here to try to defend this connection. Okay. So this is why spirit is saying that it was important here for you to step into your power and allow this person to do some work here too. We got here a king of swords. This could be somebody that's very stubborn, okay? One air sign, emperor, yeah, stubborn, okay? 
We got a king of swords and a, 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 a emperor. So this is somebody that likes to try to be real in control. They're real stubborn. They. It, this is why you had to step in your power because you was tired of whatever this person was bringing to the table. Like, no. Two of coins, okay? So it seems like they really feel like they need to bring some balance here. They're going to have some sort of offering of balance. They want a new start, a renewal after a period of ending here. Yeah, six of cups, okay? So Spirit is saying here is you step into your power and not focus on this person, okay? And not really care that they are releasing some of this stubborn energy, releasing some of this know-it-all control whatever energy this is, okay? They're realizing that maybe they need to release a little bit because you're not going to put in the work. You're not going to put in the effort. You're not about to do a damn thing except to take care of you and keep shining. That's what you're about to do, okay? So Spirit is saying it's a Seven of Pentacles. So this person may be slowly moving towards you because the Seven of Pentacles is slow-moving energy. But then we got that Knight of Swords too. Hope. Hmm. This could be someone that already has been slowly thinking about it, but now they're ready to rush towards or it's going to take them time. They're going to slowly think about it. Then all of a sudden, instantly, they're going to want to rush towards you here for this. Okay, well, what is they rushing towards with? Because we're tired of people rushing towards somebody, but it'd be nonsense. Give us the real deal here, Spirit. What are they rushing towards the collective? What, what are they coming with? What is What is it? What is it? Okay, what's the offering here? What are they going to be rushing forwards with? What is it? What's the offering here? Okay, so serendipity. Again, this seems like this is something that is going to take a little bit of time at first. But then there's going to be a message. Yeah, a message in a bottle. Okay, what, Okay, what's the message going to be discussing? What's the offering? What's going on? What's the message? Okay, soulmate. So this person is going to express, you know, either apology or missing you, how much they care about you, how they feel that you're supposed to have each other in each other's lives. There's some sort of confession here. Yeah. And want a new life with you. Okay. Or a new start, a new start here. So with the soulmates card, you can see here with the little key to unlock a heart. That's beautiful, right? So this person wants to let you know like you're the only person that can unlock their heart or that they want to open up their heart, melt their heart here and not be such a hard ass with this King of Swords of this Emperor energy, okay? And so with that here, it's like they want to soften up, open up their heart space. They want to discuss a new life, a new start, a fresh start, something here where... They're also taking accountability and not trying to put everything on your lap, which we don't do that. Yeah, uh-uh. We don't do that, right? We don't do that. No. Okay. Tell us more here. Yeah, see, this is going to be a complete 180 from what you got before. A change in the wind from this person. Yeah, okay? Where this person thought they didn't have to step up, they didn't have to do anything. You see how it says nope on the card? Because this person wanted to be stubborn. They thought they could do it. Nope, they thought they didn't have to. Uh-uh. They realized that didn't work out. <laughs> that was an epic fail, okay? So now they want to change something, okay? Yes, exactly. They want to mend. They realized that that was an epic fail. Nothing happened except for you was like okay you want to be stupid then <laughs> we can both do that okay i'm turn i'm going the other direction and now they're like oh wait a minute i thought you was gonna come for me i thought you was gonna try to fix this and you're like uh <laughs> you thought baby you really really thought that's funny that's cute that's so cute do you get what i'm saying so yeah they want to try to mend this energy here between y'all they want to fix they want to mow they want to mend okay spirit but let's talk about this can they trust this person though? You get what I'm saying? Like, can they trust that this person's gonna be able to follow through with the mending, follow through with whatever they say in here? Because we don't have time for no nonsense, as I always say. No games, no BS. Mm. We got a seven of swords, as I'm saying that. Let's see what's going on. They being sneaky about something. What is this seven of swords? What is this? What they offering? What kind of offer? What they being sneaky about? What is this? Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. This person is being strategic 
because they feel like you might block their offering if not okay we're gonna ask more about what type of strategy because strategic don't necessarily mean bad maybe they can be strategic in the right way <laughs> getting it right but this person is being strategic here when it comes to the, to the offering that they come with towards you because they feel like you're going to defend yourself from it because you probably sick of them tired of them but again another six of cups they thinking about you they want an ace of cups but they feel things are halted so they're really thinking about what's the best way to get through your defenses Okay, well, will they try anything shady to get through their defenses or will it be honest? So what, what kind of things are they going to try to get through their defenses? What kind of stuff? Because we need to know the real deal here, okay? Oh, okay, wait a minute. This is looking good. We're going to pull two more. I heard three cards. All right now, let's, let's get, get, get it. Let's see. Okay, baby. <laughs> it looks like they're going to try to actually build a firm foundation because they feel like, that's the only strategy that's going to work on you. So they better get it together. So this person is going to actually try to do the right thing. Spirit is saying that it's actually their guts going to tell them this. This is what they're supposed to be doing. It's some sort of lesson. It's destiny for them to learn to follow their gut here and do the right thing and set a firm foundation, right? Okay? And, and come in with the offering, yes, for, for a new life, okay? Come in and let you know... <laughs> I do care. I I can open up my heart. The car flew, baby. Okay. This person wants to fly towards you. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now, timing is subjective, but we're going to be a little bit nosy. We're just going to ask the timing cards. We're going to see if they're going to snitch or if they're going to keep quiet. But, you know, most of the time they don't like to tell me, but we're going to find out. Spirit, when do we see this person trying to have these renewals and clarity and all that? When? Tell us when here. Mm -hmm. they gotta forgive first and then they're gonna take action okay spirit is saying here that this person needs to forgive or release some stuff from their past okay they need to release some hurt some resentment whatever it is that holds them back from coming correct there they need to forgive that then they're going to take some action towards you here within the next few weeks, more than likely. Now, we can give or take a few weeks. You know, that could be, you know, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, it, but it, it's coming, okay? It's coming. That's what we do know right here, right now. And what else we know is that you need to come hang out with me in my exclusive online group community where there's exclusive content. Duh. I just uploaded the most recent, okay, um, month ahead predictions. We got webinars and seminars. We got support you can come over there and talk and vent and hang out and all types of goodies come look at the winner circle you can join below with the link i'm gonna talk to you later boo bye